Hello, Hornet families. It's good to speak with you again. It's May, which brings a great deal of excitement around the school district as we're ending this historic and um, crazy year in fine fashion. And so we have a lot of things to share with you that are excitement and things to come. The first thing that I would share with you is the most important thing we do. We graduate our students. On May 22nd at 2 o'clock in the high school gym, we'll graduate this year's class of Hornets. And that's always uh, what my favorite event of the year. Pomp and Circumstance is my absolutely all-time favorite song. And then the following night on May 23rd, our eighth grade students will have their promotion ceremony also at the high school uh, gymnasium. So uh, junior high parents, find your way to where you'll be going soon to the high school to uh, see your eighth grader be promoted to the high school where they'll attend next year. So exciting times for those eighth graders and congratulations to them. And then the following night, we actually have a new activity. It's our athletic celebration. That'll be May 24th, also there at the high school. So look for all those details on the website. In addition to those important things, there are lots of band concerts, choir concerts, family nights for almost all of our buildings. So please go to our website and look at the building pages and check for those schedules because there's a lot of excitement come up at the end of the season and you want to see those final events for all your kids, I'm sure. Now, as summer approaches, also approaching are the deadlines for all our opportunities to get involved with us this summer. Go to our website and that's www.cusd50.org backslash summer to look at all the opportunities, camps, reach, all the programs that make summer a lot more fun and keep your child involved with some scholastic things, some athletic things. There's so many things to do. Look at that, but those are deadlines are approaching soon. So take a look and see how you can get involved this summer with us. We are approaching last call for anyone interested in working for the school district this summer. We have summer worker opportunities to help keep our grounds looking good, our classrooms clean, you know we need to clean all the floors and we have a lot of important jobs that we do in the summer in preparing for next August for our students return, but we have opportunities for even for our high school students to be employed. So please see Mrs. Miller at the high school in the guidance office there, student services, and let her know you're interested because we're about ready to have all the interviews and hire people for this summer's workforce. And as always, we're looking to hire. Uh, this is the time of the year where we're trying to figure out who might be on our list of hires for next year. So know that we have a lot of opportunities. Harvard District 50 actually is one of the largest employers in the entire community. So there are a lot of opportunities. So if you know of someone or you yourself are interested in a position, take a look at our, our page because we have good salaries, we have good jobs working in a great district, and we'd love to work with you. So go to our website and backslash careers and you'll find all the opportunities we can provide you. And of course, we always like to end our videos with celebrations. Our first celebration is actually a celebration throughout our whole district of our dual language program. District 50 was named a lighthouse district by AASA, the National Superintendents Organization, for our dual language program. They've identified that as a program of excellence and will be one of just 13 school districts in America to have a lighthouse school designation for one of our programs. And so we're super proud of our dual language program and all the opportunities that creates and all the amazing training and all the great teachers and kids have been a part of that for the past 13 years as we've developed this into one of what we can say now is one of America's best programs. We're proud of that and proud of everyone's been a part of it. We also are proud of our hiring. We'll hire a new athletic director at the high school. Welcome Mr. Barry Gervey who is currently the athletic director in Pekin and we're also pleased to hire Jennifer Bigler who will be an assistant principal at Crosby next year, a new position. Mrs. Bigler has a lot of experience in reading and in adult or child literacy and things that are really going to be an asset for us at Crosby especially in the academic sense and we're welcome of these two super talented people to District 50 next year. And kudos to you, Caden Scott, third place in the architectural board at the state drafting competition. That is no small feat to do. That's uh, amazing with all the kids in Illinois interested in such things that you got third, way to go. And Caden and also Abigail Tittle will also recognize at the IPA leadership breakfast for their contributions in their high school performances, academic and all things leadership. Congratulations, Abby, congratulations, and Caden. You make us extremely proud as well as all of our seniors. Congratulations to all our seniors. We will miss you, we're proud of you and we can't wait to celebrate with you on the 22nd. Everyone looking forward to these fun few weeks uh, finalizing our end of the year. Enjoy it and take care.